Good evening and welcome to this news edition. The judge of instruction, Ramon Sit Aksime, audition on August 30th, the former prime minister of Joseph Michel Martelly, Laurent Salvador Lamotte, around the Petrocari Befal. The former head of the premature was accompanied by his lawyer, Mario Delcy. Nothing has filtered from the, this audience. At this insistence of the journalist who pressured him into the corridors of the Justice Department when he left, Laurent Lamotte simply referred to the Parc Saint-Thérèse in Pétionville to justify the use of the funds allocated to the realization of 25 stadium in Haiti. For Laurent Lamotte, lawyer, the former prime minister provided the judge with all the information needed to investigate the petro Caribe case. Mario Delcy said that his client is always at the disposal of justice. Counsel for the petro Caribe plaintiffs has repeatedly demanded that Judge Ramon Sit Aksime extricate himself from the petro Caribe case because of his supposed acquaintances with the Haitian party Tetkali, PHTK regime. The expressed doubt about the outcome of the investigation and a possible petro Caribe trial with the presence of the accused judge. The latter had in particular summoned several former senior officials as part of the investigation of the Petrocari Befau. But most of these summonses were shunned by those concerned. The Association of Volunteers for Democracy, AVD, launched a Thursday in Pétionville a campaign on the goals of sustainable development, SDG. According to the head of the AVD, Carlin Michel, it is necessary to sensitize all the actors to do the need to fight to eliminate in Haiti irritants such as famine and misery. For its part, youth president Rosni Cadet said the youth government in parliament will get even more economists. Kessner Farrell, who attended the event, encouraged the proponent that political stability and the vote on a draft budget could help achieve the SDG. Moreover, Kessner Farrell stressed that the blockage of the country last February was a real blow to the national economy. Inflation and employment, the high cost of living, have increased for these socio-political troubles, recall Mr. Farrell, involved in this campaign to help the country take the road of progress. A broad Hurricane Dorian was declared a major Category 3 hurricane by NHC on Friday night. It is yet to strengthen because of reaching the southeastern coast of the United States by Monday or next Tuesday. Concern is mounting in the southeastern United States and particularly in Florida. As Hurricane Dorian approaches, which became a major Category 3 hurricane on Friday night, with winds reaching nearly 185 kilometers per hour in the evening. Donald Trump confirmed the state of emergency for the state of Florida, while forecasters predict that the hurricane will reach U.S. shores by the beginning of the next week. With a power of Category 4 out of the 5, on the Sapphire Simpson scale. The American president, who owns uh, several properties in Florida, including his luxurious residence in Mar a Lago, announced uh, Thursday that he canceled uh, his trip to Poland scheduled this weekend to stay with his fellow citizens. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to rewatch this news edition, you may do so at Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and RadioTelepacific.com. You may also watch it on cable channel 384 for Nassau, Bahamas. And from all of us at Info Pacific, have a great weekend and a good night.